Hi, it's Nancy Queen, and today I'm here to talk to you about something I've been seeing everywhere on Pinterest, on TikTok, on Instagram. And you know what they are? These tiny mushrooms, and they're really fun and easy to make. I'm going to show you how to do them right now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. I'm using Premier Home Cotton and a size 5.5 millimeter hook. Now the baby mushroom measures about three and a half inches tall, while the mama mushroom measures about five and a half inches tall. And she has the polka dots because she's a mature mushroom. I had plenty of yarn left over just using one skein each of the four colors for all three of my mushrooms. In fact, I still had half a skein of white after doing all three of the mushrooms. The general construction for all of the pieces starts out exactly the same. You're going to be working, starting in a circle and crocheting in the round all the way around for the bottom. And then you'll make a similar piece for the top and the flat piece for the inside. They get stuffed and then seamed together. I'm going to start this project working from the center out and I'm going to make a slip knot and then a chain of three. I'm going to join the chain with a slip stitch and work six single crochet in that uh, ring. You could also use the magic ring method for this technique. And you'll have the full pattern printable that's in the description below as well to help guide you along. So we are working our six single crochet and then on the next round we're going to double that by working two single crochet in each of those six single crochet. So when we get done with the second round we'll have 12. Now here's one of my favorite crochet tips. I don't use stitch markers to mark the beginning of the round. I use a little piece of yarn in a contrasting color and I just kind of tuck it in before the first stitch of the round and then I work my round. And I'll know that I'm completed the round when I get back to that piece of yarn. I take it out and then I place it back in front of the first stitch of the round and I just keep carrying it all the way up until I'm done with my project. I find that the yarn stays in place. It's really quick and easy to move, and I always know where I am in my project. I never have to recount or guess. I find it just an easy and fun method, so I hope you give it a try. Once your round has 24 stitches, you're going to begin working evenly and that's going to create this little curve that you have and start making the sides of the stem and transitioning away from the bottom. So we're moving from the bottom to the sides and then we'll begin doing some decreasing. Okay, so for round seven of our stem, we're going to work the first stitch as we normally would. Now we're going to do a decrease. So I'm gonna go into the first next stitch, pull up a loop, then I'm not going to finish. I'm going to go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and now I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through all three. Then I'll crochet one more. Now I'm going to do a decrease of yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and yarn over and go through all three. And I'm going to keep repeating this all the way around the row. So I'm going to crochet one, and then in the next two stitches, I'm going to crochet two together. And this is a typical decrease in crochet, and it's going to take us from 18 stitch, uh, from 24 stitches rather, to 18 stitches. You'll continue working the pattern until you've finished the 10 rounds, and then it's time to fasten off. When you've completed round 10, you can remove your yarn marker, and then you're going to cut the yarn, leaving about a 12 inch tail, that way, you don't have to um, attach a new strand to sew the stem to the bottom. So I'm just gonna pull through. And that will fasten that off. And then I'll be able to sew that, after I stuff it, I'll be able to sew that right onto the top of my mushroom. Now I'm moving on to the top of the mushroom and the underside of the mushroom. 
and you'll see that they're made almost identical to the stem of the mushroom. You start at the center and you work out and just a few tweaks on the rows where you're increasing or decreasing or working evenly will create this adorable mushroom shape. Now that we have all of our mushroom pieces made, it's time to attach the eyes. And they look kind of like a screw and a nut. And get the right size that you need for your mushroom. And then you're going to attach the safety eyes about half an inch up the bottom of the mushroom stem. So you'll insert the eye and then you'll take the backing and you'll put that in. So I'm going to do both the eyes first so that I can see exactly where I want them and then I'm going to put the backings on. Okay, so I have them where I want them so they, my little mushroom looks super cute. And now you just click the backing into place. You might need to apply some pressure but it will work and you just really give it a good click down and it will stay exactly where it's supposed to. Now I'll apply the safety backing for the other eye and we are ready to go. Now it's time to stuff your mushroom stem. So just use little bits at a time and shape the stem so that it looks exactly the way you want it. I like to do just a little here and there and then shape it, add a little more, shape it, and then we're ready to work on the next portion. Now you'll work the underside and the top very similarly to how you made the stem. And if you make the underside first, when you get to the last round of the top of the mushroom, then you don't have to fasten off and reattach. You can just pick up and join the underside to the top of the mushroom. And I'm just gonna go and crochet through both of those pieces together and that's going to seam it. So I go through one side, the top, and then I go through a stitch on the underside. And I work to about one inch before the, the, where I started. And then I'm gonna stuff it and finish seaming. Now you can see here I've worked almost all the way around and I have that one inch opening. I'm just gonna stuff that and when it's stuffed to my liking, I'm just going to finish doing the single crochet around. Okay, my mushroom top, I've finished it. I've woven in the yarn ends. Now I just squish around the stuffing till it's shaped exactly the way I want it and it matches my other mushroom. And now we're ready to sew on the stem to the top of the mushroom. And remember I had you keep that long tail on the stem. Now we're gonna use the long tail to attach the top to the bottom. And I just center the stem right over the top of the mushroom. And now I'm just going to weave back and forth, sewing one side from the top and then pick up a stitch from the bottom. And I'm just gonna keep going around the mushroom all the way around the stem. And that's all you have to do to sew the top to the bottom. I really hope you've enjoyed crocheting these mushrooms with me and I'll see you in the next video.